Honorable members, the latest report I have received from the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission contains a catalog of allegations of high-level corruption touching on all arms and levels of government. It is the view of the Chief Executive of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission that, this, that the institution that the institution and especially its secretariat are under siege because of the nature of the cases they are currently investigating. I know that Parliament is seized of this matter and I urge them to deal with this issue expeditiously. Today, however, and for the sake of transparency, I take the extraordinary step of attaching the aforementioned confidential report from the CEO of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission as an annex to my annual report on values to Parliament. As a consequence, I also hereby direct that all officials of the national and county governments that are adversely mentioned in this report, whether you are a cabinet secretary, principal secretary, or chief executive of a state institution, to immediately step aside pending conclusion Pending conclusion of the investigations of the allegations against them. I equally expect that the other arms of government, namely the legislative and the judiciary, will also do the same. <laughs> Father, The investigating authority must ensure that the Director of Public Prosecutions has received the subject files without delay. I also want to caution that this should not be an open-ended process. Justice, justice must be expeditious, as justice delayed is justice denied. <laughs> 